Long before calculus or algebra, before even the concept of zero, someone in Egypt wrote down a math workbook on papyrus with reed ink. Around 1650 BCE, it's called the Rhind Papyrus, and it's one of the oldest surviving mathematical documents in the world. Written by a scribe named Armas, it's basically a cheat sheet for solving real-world problems. Need to divide bread among workers, measure the area of a field, calculate taxes in a floodplain? There's a scroll for that. Armas didn't invent the math, he copied it from older works, dating back to around 1850 BCE. The scroll contains 84 problems, packed with practical puzzles, fractions, equations, and geometry. Most solutions rely on unit fractions, fractions with one on top. No two-fifths, no three-four, just combinations of half, one-third, one-six, and so on. One problem asks how to divide 100 loaves of bread among 10 men in unequal shares. Another calculates the slope of a pyramid. This isn't abstract math, it's math with dirt under its nails. The kind of math that built granaries and leveled land. Math for survival, not style points. There are even multiplication tricks, doubling, adding, splitting fractions. It's a time capsule of how people thought, worked and solved when everything depended on getting it right. And the best part? Ames signs it. He writes that he's copying this to make the knowledge exact and clear. A flex, but a humble one. So next time you're stuck on a math test, remember, the oldest problems we've ever found weren't written for grades. They were written to solve life. The OG problem set.